let's talk about ribbon eels. These are ribbon eels, a type of fish that are usually classified as being related to moray eels, but are kind of also just their own thing. They're typically found in tropical areas of the West Pacific, being found all the way from Australia up to Japan and over to some areas of Africa, like around Madagascar. And they have a very interesting life cycle. So the blue and yellow ones you see are the mature males. And that is most of them. Most of these fish are mature males for the majority of their life cycle. Now, this guy over here is a juvenile. The juveniles are almost entirely black with yellow dorsal fin and other parts of the body. As they age, the black color fades and turns into that very nice blue, retaining the yellow features as well. Now, this one over here is a female. It's quite rare to find females because they're only present in very specific circumstances, basically for mating. Because ribbon eels are classified as protandic hermaphrodites, meaning that they spend the majority of their life cycle as males, and when it's time to mate, they will then transition into this female up here, mate, lay eggs, and then die at the end of the life cycle. So they're only ever really seen as females once they've mated and are about to die. Ribbon eels also have sometimes over 250 vertebrae in them, which is just a little bit excessive if you ask me. Nobody needs that many vertebrae. Now, ribbon eels are very, very rarely kept in captivity because they really do not do well at all in things like aquariums or fish tanks. In the wild, they can live up to 20 years, but rarely survive more than a year in captivity and have very, very, very rarely been observed to breed. They do a little bit better in larger aquarium setups like national aquariums, not home hobby aquariums but even then they don't do great and have rarely ever bred. So while they are a very pretty and interesting fish, they are not a good pet or aquarium fish, but despite that, they are still slightly at risk from people poaching them and catching them to sell into the aquarium trade.